This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Tongue of Flames. This is stitched by first stitching a spiral and then you're going to stitch back along it. And I kind of kept this about an eighth of an inch from my stirring so it's kind of like a vine shape. Then you're going to start stitching flames off of the edge of this initial vine. And the flames can be as wiggly or wobbly as you want. You can have them all kind of bend in the same direction or you can have them uh, kind of flow out in all different directions. It's entirely up to you. The best thing to do is just keep your flames consistent. So um, keep them about the same width. Uh, keep the stitch uh, length consistent and uh, the distance between the lines of stitching the same and that way it will kind of keep the same look and you can see how the thread really builds up with this stitch and makes it really interesting and that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this design because not only are you getting the wonderful flowing moving lines you're also getting a lot of thread play and a lot of thread build up and I think that really adds a lot to the look of the design itself. This is a variation of the stitch swirling feathers and uh, just like with the feathers it seems like I stitch this so much easier if I travel back to the beginning and kind of bend the flames all in one direction that's just simply what works the best for me so play with it and stitch it in a variety of different ways and see which way works the best for you sometimes we can get really locked into one way of stitching something simply because that's the way we've been taught when it may not feel natural to us, it may not feel and flow and move as naturally as it should. And the best thing to do is to simply practice and play with a lot of different angles until it feels as natural as writing your own name in cursive writing. To get to the next uh, spiral flame kind of shape, another tongue of flame, I should say, uh, just work your way between two flames and uh, come up with another kind of vine shape. Uh, another basis stem for more flames and then just fill from there. Sometimes you might have some weird areas and you're going to have to kind of work your way into those areas with more flames. But as long as you work consistently this should uh, go together very easily. And here's what it looks like when you finish Tongue of Flames. For over 150 videos on free motion quilting, go to daystyledesigns.com.